Sandland, the land of sand. Hello and welcome. Chris back with another. Is it a fragrance review? Well, sort of. Um, it's a review uh, of my top three perfumiers' noses, the people who are behind the brands, behind the fragrances, the creators of perfume. And it's my top, it's all about my top three. And the top three um, was fairly easy for me because I know who I don't want to choose and I know very much from my over 20 years in, uh, in, in, in this sort of business, you know, uh, of whom I really like because of all the past experiences. That, uh, that I had with, uh, with many, many, many hundred releases of many, many different brands these people, these perfumists, these noses worked for and still work for, some of them at least. Um, so I have my top three. I don't like the, my favorite three, let's put it that way. Favorite three perfumiers, favorite three noses. Um, and on, on spot number three is Geza Schön. Gieser Schön, who um, stands out for me due to his unbelievable um, willingness of taking risks and, uh, and trying to push boundaries. I'm thinking of a fragrance called Kinski. Um, Kinski by Kinski, basically, you know, in, in, in honor of the great late German actor. There was a fragrance release in 2011 that, that Geza Schön did with the fantastic weed, marijuana accord. But also, if you take, uh, not niche, uh, if you take Baldessarini's Ultimate, what a fragrance that is. Uh, how courageous that is to create something um, for, a, for, a, for a mass appeal brand like, a uh, designer brand like Baldessarini, um, and, and make it such a strong statement, because Ultimate by Baldessarini by Geza Schön is a fantastic ultimate statement of, of, of brave uh, perfumery. And spot number two is uh, sadly somebody who, uh, who passed away, Beatrice Piquet, who apart from being a fantastic perfumer, did, created uh, many, many great fragrances, but she did the best fragrance, male fragrance at least, uh, of all time in my opinion for the greatest house of all time, in my opinion, Garlin, Linston de Garlin, uh, which was created by Beatrice Piquet, among many, many other fragrances uh, that she has done throughout her lifetime. She only lived 47 years, died 2010. Um, immaculate taste, um, perfect execution, and just, and just pure brilliance is, is what Beatrice Piquet, in my opinion, stands for. Um, and on spot number one, Madames and Monsieur, ladies and gentlemen, is the one and only Thierry Vasser. And I have a, I have a few of Thierry's creations here. And and what I can smell in all of them is Thierry's brilliance, Thierry's fantastic sense of nuances of style, of Frenchness. Um, and he has had the most difficult job of, of any and every perfumier. And that was going to Guerlain. Guerlain, the institution of fragrance in France. Guerlain, who has been led by Jean-Paul Guerlain for such a long time. And exactly when Ben Thierry Wasser entered, Jean-Paul was getting out of business and uh, and he had these racist, racist, okay, remarks uh, at the time, and, and, and that's how Thierry Vassar had to start, you know, his job again. I'm very difficult, and but I think, you know, Thierry Vassar. What makes Thierry Vassar a, a brilliant nose, a brilliant perfume, is not only that you can you can detect all his all his um, masterpiece professionalism and and pure and pure fine touch in every fragrance. Uh, that he re he's done. Uh, I'm talking, for example, uh, Chopard pour Homme that he's done. Uh, but, but many other fragrances. Um, he has had this tremendous job joining Guerlain and he 
Tukkerla as it is and curated a new Guerlain while maintaining the old traditional Guerlain. What I mean is that he has had the Guerlain Homme line out. Then he has had the Guerlain L'Homme L'Ideal line out. Okay, So he maintained, he brought Guerlain into the 21st century, but at the same time he had to make sure that Guerlain remains Guerlain, that Guerlain remains the institution of, of perfume, of fragrance in France. Um, he did this obviously maintaining the, the fantastic, uh, fabulous taste of Guerlain and the quality level, as well as touching those older Guerlains um, that, talking about Chalimar or Habit Rouge, and making new Chalimars and new Habit Rouges into the edition and creating a, a line of flankers that did not pull the overall fragments and portfolio down of Chalimar or or uh, Habit Rouge, but maintained uh, this brilliance that these fragrances had many, many decades, from many, many decades before uh, Thierry Vasser entered. And then he created um, uh, Petite uh, Robe Noire, if I'm not mistaken, um, the name I mean. And, and he has had a very, very tough job, Thierry Vasser, and on all fronts of Guerlain, and even before that, as I say, I love his work even before Guerlain. But at Guerlain, he has taken a tremendously difficult job and, and fulfilled it to a hundred percent. It's such a such a difficult job in, in this very, very competitive market to take an old brand, classy brand like Guerlain, keep it uh, the way it is and bring it to the 21st century and appeal to a new market, to new audiences, both male and female. It's a tremendously difficult job and, and Thierry Vasser for me prevailed a hundred percent. Okay, so obviously there are other great names as Jean-Claude Elena or, or uh, Alberto Morias, but to me that, these are those top three. And one more thing uh, for Thierry Vasser, he would have never done anything as cheap and as, and as, and as overly mass appealing like for example Alberto Morias has done many many times over these days. Obviously, Jean-Claude is out of uh, Jean-Claude Elena now is out of, uh, of of business. He's retired. He he was fantastic, obviously for Hermes and even before that. But to me, it was a little bit kind of boring. Jean-Claude Elena, I have to be honest. Thierry Vasser is much more multifaceted, much more multi-colored, uh, um, and a tremendous personality as well. So that that was my top three or my favorite three. Uh, fragrance people uh, noses or perfumes if you wish um, let me know what you think who your favorites are and uh, I'll be back with more and, and wow Thierry Vasser and God bless Beatrice Piquet and Geza Schön <laughs> great job as always cheers